Hey guys, Anime Knight here with another vi with another video. This time we're diving into another article brought to you in part by About It in the Comics. Big thank you for that one. Red Son Sanja star Matilda Lutz slams source material for being made with a very male gaze orientation. Says new film is very women empowered. Oh, women empowered! Oh my goodness, we 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 hate strong, sexy women who are independent, fight bad guys, and look sexy while doing it. Yeah, we hate that. We want we want females in our own image. <laughs> these people, man. <clears throat> According to its star, Matilda Lutz, the upcoming Red Sanja film will be seeking to abandon the male gaze orientation of the heroine's previous original and original adventures in favor of a narrative that is overall very women-empowered. So we're going from this to something of, on the cusp of a Madam Web, basically. Great. See, this is what we came here for. Now, this I would be fine with because I would love to see, see a film about this right here in ties with Spider-Man right there. And by the way, this is the spirit of Red Sonja takes possession of Mary Jane Watson and Marvel's team up volume one, num issue number 79, Sword of the She-Devil Devil published in 1978. <clears throat> Lutz, whose audience may be best known for her starring role in 2017's Revenge and 2021 Zone 4 414, offered this insight into the chainmail bikini clad warriors next cinematic outing while speaking to CBR's Tessa Smith ahead of the, of the South by Southwest premiere of her new film Magpie. I don't even know what that I don't even know what that movie's about. <clears throat> Pressed by Smith for any and all information she could tease about the film, the actress asserted, So, what I can tell about Red Sanja is that the first ones in the comics were made with a very male gaze orientation. This is a completely different story and it's very women empowered, which I love about the script. Yeah, we all know who's behind the scripts and everything. Unfortunately for fans of the crimson haired heroine, this is not the first time that this next Red Sanja has thrown up such a red flag regarding its narrative direction. Speaking to, Vira to Variety in honor of her being ranked 5th on the 2023 entry of their annual 10 Screenwriters to Watch list, the film scribe The Witcher Blood Origin writer Tasha Hulo teased that the Red Sanja would provide audiences with both stories of great female friendship as well as a glimpse into how women uniquely survive out in the world. We already have this right here. This is a perfect example going out of her way. And by the way, this is the the, the, the debut issue of Red Sandra. I remember this one. I saw it when I was I, I remember reading it when I was a kid in the late nineties. Interestingly, despite the, this feminist bent to his story, Red Sanja producer Les Weldon told Collider that the film is also a little bit of, I don't want to say a darker take, but a little bit a little bit darker take than you would expect, certainly compared to the original Red Sanja. However, despite the film's offering such a little darker take, the director its director, MJ Bassett, has confirmed that it will abandon perhaps one of the most harrowing elements of her 1985 silver screen adventure, her sexual assault by a gang of bandits. For anyone who wants to see the Red Sanja film, this would be the better one. I have no interest in the fictional women who use <clears throat> a grave as an engine of motivation, director told The Hollywood Reporter Scott Johnson in January 2023. It's not a strong motivation. She's just a human being in the world of femininity. Jeez, these people. Further through details as to Red Sanja's exact plot currently remains under wraps. According to a, sum a summation of Bassett's words provided by Johnson, the film will be an allegory for more existential questions around the survival of the species in the face of. Oh my god, why? Why? Why here? Yep. Definite turn off. Definite turn off. 
is this is how you kill your film. This is uh, this is how you kill the interest. Directed by Bassett, whose filmography includes both Solomon Kane and Silent Hill Revelation, and star starring Lutz as the titular heroine and the Umbrella Academy actor Robert Sheehan as her nemesis Drag the Magnificent, Red Sanja is currently set to slice its way across the battlefield sometime in 2024. So basically, this is just another another feminist take that is not for the best interest into telling a great a great story about this beloved character but we also got to focus about climate change because we got to add politics and the political narratives in our films and everything we're going to smash it in your face anyway what is your guys' take on this whole thing let me know in the comments below. Again, big thank you to Bound in the Comics for providing this article. I'm Animate Night Nights 92. I love you all. We'll see you in the next video.